Alright guys, I'm all easy here, with a nice fresh haircut, you see that, look at that, I'm hot, anyways, back with another easy video, now, where I'm getting at here is, I'm in the kitchen, that's not where I'm getting at, but, All right, easy cooking, part one. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, you're a 13-year-old, you can't cook. Uh, you, do you want to bet? All right, let's bet then. First, first meal, we are going, we're going to be making one meal per easy cooking episode. This is cooking with MO Easy, easy cooking. It's easy. All right, first thing we're going to make for episode one is a nice patch of scrambled eggs. Now, it's easy and delicious. Now watch this. All right, you're gonna go to your fridge, grab the eggs, get notifications. Uh, grab your eggs. That's obviously the first thing a girl need. Oh, you're also gonna need a nice stove. Kind of dirty, but it's okay. Good. Oh yeah, those aren't expired. Yeah. Make sure they're not expired too. It's kind of. You don't want them expired. All right. Next thing you're gonna grab, you're gonna go to your fridge or wherever keep your milk. You're gonna grab that milk. Nice. I think that's all we need from the fridge. And that is all we need from the fridge. It can be any type of milk. Uh, I have whole milk. Then you're going to go to your cabinet. And you can grab whatever seasoning you like to put on your eggs. I usually, I definitely grab, I definitely grab this. Parsley flakes. Now this parsley flakes is to add color to to just some plain old yellow eggs, you know. You want to add some nice greenery in there too. Two. All right. You're also gonna need a bowl. Sorry. Got about that. Got pink one right here. Use whatever kind you want. All right, I think I also need a freaking fork. I'm gonna kill somebody. Then you're also gonna need a pan. I, I, I'm forgetting all this stuff. All right, got a good size pan here, about the size of my chest. Uh, all right. So first thing you want to do is this stove right here. Want to take it to the front left. Place it on there nicely. Then you want to grab. Alright, after you place the pan on there, you want to grab uh, your spray or your best boy or whatever. Uh, something to uh, stop the eggs from sticking to the pan. So I'm just going to. Should be good. Alright. That's the pan stuff. Alright, cuz. Alright, so you don't need it on the front right. You need it on the front. Actually, that depend that depends on the size of the pan because you want it to cook evenly. So we so this size is pretty big, so I got it on the front left. Uh you need it on the big burner, whichever. Like I said, depending on the size of the pan. Alright. Alright, next thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to start the eggs. I usually grab two or three and make a video. Nah, come in here. Come in here. This is easy cooking. Yeah, you get premiered too. What, what, what? You get showed off too. Yeah, he's got a gun. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, 
That's my little brother. Alright. Like I said, okay, so you're usually going to need about, you want to make a normal size, usually about two or three eggs. Uh, depends on how many people you're going to feed. So, grab two eggs right here. Alright, so you're going to need uh, a fork. Uh, you, you could just crack it on the side, but I usually like to do that. I got the shell in there. That was completely horrible on accident. Alright. So just... Just a light tap. Usually it only takes one, but... I'm kind of scared it's going to splatter on me, not going to lie. So, uh... Why well, shouldn't be? Nice. You know, we'll put an extra egg in there. Alright, so. Got the third egg. Nice. Alright, so after you do that, you're just going to take your milk, and you only want a little bit in there. Just a little bit. Now, if you do put a lot uh, on accident, then, um, well, it's just going to be kind of white, but it'll be fine. All right, so you want to take your fork and your eggs. Yeah, look at that. In there. And you want to just stir it up. And if you're still stirring it and the yolk isn't, like, destroyed... Then you can just stab it. And I will be right back. Alright, once you stir it up nice and good, uh, you can put some seasoning there if you like. Just a bit of salt. Sorry about that. Get some pepper in there too. Alright, so once you add your seasoning and stuff, if you want any, uh, your egg should look something like this. It, it should at least be yellow like that. It doesn't have to have all the You fell. Alright, fam. So, actually, before you start putting the eggs in there, into the pan, whatever burner you have it on, you want to turn it to at least four to five. So, I got on four, but, um, four to five. So, and you want to turn that on a bit earlier before you start stirring and making the eggs, uh, before you put it in the pan, because, um, you want it to heat up. So, don't worry. This is just the best water. Anyways, after you do that, you are going to pour your eggs in the pan, just like that. Nice. Take your... Take your spatula, let it sit for a second, and I'll see you guys there. Alright, once you let it sit for a second, you gotta take your spatula, whatever, and you gotta kinda, you gotta scramble it. So. We're just going to do this here. Take it like that. Nice. 
Some of this is still liquid, but uh, the burner is going to make that non-liquid. It's going to make that an actual egg. So I'm just going to do this here. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, once you got them all like kind of patched up like this, you want to flip some of them. You actually want to chop it up a bit just to give it that extra. You know, you don't want it all sticking together. After you do that, you want to flip them. Nice. Watch freaking Chef Ramsay. Freak oh gosh. Watch Chef Ramsay come in, watch this video, and he'll be like, Oh, that is the most disgusting dish ever. And I'll be like, He said it. He's right. Alright guys, right now, once you flip some of it, mixed it all up, your egg should be pretty much done. I'm just going to do a little bit more here. Alright guys, once your eggs are done, you can go ahead and put all your, actually, still going to need the spatula, you need it on a plate. Go ahead and put your bowl in the sink, your seasoning is up, don't forget about the parts of the flakes. Alright guys, once you grab a plate, let's go ahead and grab the spatula, and we're just going to nice. Freaking hot as heck. Alright, once you get as much eggs as you want on there, you can also season it up here too. I just seasoned it earlier, so it would get mixed up in all of them, and, and all the eggs. Good, good. Alright, so once you do that, and you, you don't need to do this at all, but if you want to season it up a bit more, you can. You don't absolutely, ha this is not absolutely necessary. You don't need, need to spice this up at all if you want, but this is how I do them. These are easy eggs. So you're going to take your parsley, parsley, you're going to take your parsley flakes, put some in your hand. Once you got some in your hand, you're just going to take a bit, and then you're going to sprinkle it on there, just like that.
and the ones you don't use on your hand, just go ahead. Dump them in the trash. Grab your fork. And now you got yourself a nice, easy meal. This is called Easy Eggs. You got yourself a nice patch of eggs. Let's taste it, shall we? Mmm. Have your eggs finished? All right. Am I rating on my own eggs? Out of five stars. I give it four stars, and the reason I don't give it five is because they were a bit wetter, but that was on me. So it's okay. There's, they're still, they were still amazing. Um, I should have cooked them a bit longer, but they were still really good. Um, but if you don't want yours to be wet, really, thank you, you know. And then, um, cook the eggs for a bit longer. Uh, check them before you take them out so that you can cook them for a bit longer and make sure. So, um, yeah, overall, four or five stars. If I cooked it longer, probably would have been five, but... These are really good, and I hope you guys try to make this, uh, these eggs. Or I hope I taught you how to make scrambled eggs. And hopefully it tastes good, so. It's good to me. So that's going to do it with episode one of Easy Cooking. And before I end it off, this is M.O. Easy with Easy Cooking. It's easy.